This is a quick response to Laura Layla on YouTube or Lolly Layla on you doubled your response to my video there uh, to do with slavery, uh, adherence to the norm, uh, compliance with rule systems, uh, you know, those kind of things really. And, and kind of, as I say, in response to my particular concern with the behaviour of people on, on YouTube. And what I see is a kind of towing of the party line and, and as I described it, doing Google's dirty work for them. I guess this is also partly a response to your video, Earl, Bike Messenger 7 on uh, YouTube, to do with white knighting. The fact that we need to, with some people at least, feel that we feel the need to protect one another from the ravages of other folk. Again, um, doing Google's dirty work for them, trying to, you know, flagging down videos that we, whilst we personally might not find them offensive, we sense that someone else might so we as I said uh, act on their behalf which is you know is, is wrong in all kinds of reason for all kinds of reasons right the way I'm coming from with this is I guess I'm really picking up on something that you said there Laura Leila which is to do with um, it's not Google's fault I'm not really that's not what you said but did you seem to be saying that the the responsibility for this lies with the flaggers or lies with the users ultimately and whilst I would agree that, you know, people are assholes, you know, for sure. Um, and if everybody was a really nice person uh, and had the same values that you and I and uh, the people we routinely correspond with, then everything would be fine. But that's that's never going to happen, is it? Um, and um, so I do think the organisation has a very particular role to play. And I think in the case of Google and YouTube, it's a really particular one. Because, you know, obviously, I'd like we're all familiar with the, the facilities and the functions that YouTube provides but I think if we if we were all to use those functions fully in the way that they're clearly intended we would all be assholes that's that's my viewpoint on that you know I mean just taking the flagging thing for example a, fl a flagging system needs to be there on any site which uploads videos uh, it doesn't apply to you doubled because there's no uploading function there but if you upload videos you have to have a flagging system just to keep the law off your back, apart from anything else, but it's also to, to keep genuinely illegal and damaging material off the airwaves. So there is a good reason for a flagging system, but a flagging system isn't a, isn't a censorship system. A flagging system should just send up a warning flag. That's the idea of it. It just says someone needs to look at this who has some power around here. That's all it should do. Um, and a, an efficient flagging system, one that's fair and transparent and non-arbitrary and equitable and all those kind of things would be fine. The problem with YouTube is it's not an efficient flagging system. It doesn't work. That's the problem with it. As we've seen with, with my videos, but many other videos as well, it's totally arbitrary what gets flagged in the first place. And once it has been flagged, the reviewing system is totally opaque and, again, arbitrary. Some videos are taken down whilst others stay up. Some are given 18 classifications while others aren't. There's no, there's no, um, as I say, there's no equitable standard by which to measure those things. And the fact that it is uh, opaque and there's no appeal anymore. There used to be appeals at one time. There's no appeal now. It makes it um, a disreputable system. So it's not the system. So in that case, if you were to do what YouTube wants you to do, what the system provides, if you were to use the flagging system, you're effectively being an asshole because you're buying into a system that doesn't work. Similarly with the, um, the dislike button. The dislike button is interesting. Uh, many, many other sites, uh, Facebook, Vimeo, have got like buttons, you know, where you can do the thumbs up. And that's all public knowledge. Everyone can see when you like something. But YouTube uniquely has a dislike button which is anonymous. It's a, it's, it's a, I don't see that on any other site. And that's a very particular thing, isn't it? You know, and if we were to use it, if we were to honestly do what it seems to be wanting us to do, which is to evaluate everything we see and give it a dislike if we don't like it, then we're effectively being assholes because we're, um, as I said, just being sneaky. We're basically using it for malicious effect. We're you know, downrating someone's video without any accountability. So, in other words, the system is turning us into assholes, again, if we use it correctly. Uh, the same is just true of something like the partner scheme. Again, I can understand why they're doing it. It's part of their business model. But the partner system and the fact that the way that monetized videos work 
really, if we're to if we're to really use YouTube the way it seems to be designed, we would have to be attention whores. I mean, that, that's what it wants us to be. Clearly, it wants us to seek partnership. It wants us to monetize our videos. It wants us to get as many views on our videos as we possibly can, because that's what it's designed for. Which turns you into an asshole. You know, you end up with glossy green screen introductions and and. and you know, showing a cleavage. I mean, that, that's that's what it's designed. That's what the system is designed to do. Uh, and there's other examples as well. But um, I mean, those are the ones that jump out right now. The way the system is set up, flag, particularly as I say, flagging, liking, and um, and attention whoring, is is designed to turn us into assholes. That's my point. And the fact that some assholes choose not to resist that system. It, it, you know, it, it doesn't speak well of them, but it speaks even worse of the system. That in order to be a decent person on YouTube, you have to not use it the way it's designed. It seems to me that that's the, the problem I have with that. Uh, but yes, well, thanks very much for the uh, responses, both of you two, and um, speak to you soon. Oh, this again, no comments, no um, rating on this video on uh, YouTube. It'll be on you doubled if you want to comment there. Please feel free to do so. Bye.